What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. I just wanted to do a pretty quick episode for you all today based on some crazy news last week. There was a big old saga on Twitter about a supposed Greenland shark that had washed up in Cornwall. I know, I know, this is the second episode about Greenland sharks that we've had on Shark Bites in the last two weeks, but I just couldn't resist doing an episode on this one. Also, if you wanted to watch that previous Greenland shark episode that we did, you can click this link here. We looked at how they catch their prey. It's pretty cool. Anyway, back onto today's video. Last Sunday, Rosie Woodroff was walking on a beach near Newlyn, which is in the west of Cornwall, and stumbled upon the stranded body of a Greenland shark. She did the right thing and called the Cornwall Wildlife Marine Strandings Network, but by the time they returned with a pathologist, the tide had actually washed that Greenland shark back out to sea. So the alarm bells were sounded across social media, and pretty much everyone around Penzance in Cornwall was out looking for this shark. Then on Tuesday, the crew of a local tourist boat operation stumbled upon the shark in the water, initially thinking it was a dead dolphin, and managed to tow it back to shore. Here it was then passed on to the Strandings Network who have sent it off for a post-mortem to try and figure out how and why it died. Now, a lot of you out there might be thinking this is a pretty sad event, and it definitely is a sad event. Greenland sharks are rare, and seeing one dead on the beach in Cornwall is not what we want to see. But what it does do is give us an incredibly rare opportunity to study this shark from a biological perspective. We can often learn so much from dead and stranded marine life, so we have to use these sad events really opportunistically. Interestingly, a week before this stranding took place, a large Greenland shark was spotted in Uchant, which is a small island off the coast of France. The shark was clearly in a spot of bother in the shallows, but reportedly managed to free itself and was seen swimming off out to sea. But what was really cool was that some eagle-eyed shark scientists on Twitter pointed out this could easily be the same shark as the one that stranded in Cornwall. Shark scientist Johan Moria showed that in two images of the shark, you can see the same notch in the upper part of the caudal fin. Obviously, it's not 100% confirmed yet, but it does seem pretty likely that this is the same individual, which would make sense because the one in France was clearly struggling in the shallows, which is generally a precursor to a stranding event. It just then managed to travel 100 kilometers before eventually stranding in Cornwall. But this is an incredibly rare event to happen in our waters. And the only other British specimen we have is from a Greenland shark that stranded in Northumberland back in 2013. That one is now preserved and is in the Natural History Museum in London. So a lot of you are probably asking yourselves right now, why do sharks strand? And to be completely honest with you, it's still a bit of a mystery. We know that lots of marine life end up stranding on beaches, the most common of which are cetaceans. Dolphins and whales are often thought to strand because their internal compass goes a little bit out of whack and they become disoriented, although there are thought to be other reasons as well. But shark stranding still seems to puzzle scientists to this day. Often sharks can strand when they're hunting prey species in shallow water, as they're maybe caught out by a wave that pushes them just a little bit too close to shore and then the tide recedes and they're stuck. But in cases like this Greenland shark, the reasons are still unclear. They're generally a deep sea species, so tend to stay away from shorelines when they can. Although if those stories are true about Greenland sharks attacking caribou who are drinking from the banks of river mouths, then maybe they do come closer to shore. Looking at this particular event though, I'm thinking this was either a sick or injured Greenland shark. Sadly, Greenland sharks can often get caught as bycatch in fishing nets and they can be released from those nets, but the internal damage and the whole stress of the situation can really put them in a bad way. So there's a chance this Greenland shark could have washed up in France and then Penzance because of this reason. France, Penzance. There's a fun rhyme. Once the post-mortem is complete, we'll have a much clearer picture of how this Greenland shark ended up on a beach in Cornwall. But for now, we're just gonna have to sit tight and wait. Once I know a bit more, I'll post a little update in the comments below for you so you can all find out what happened. And I promise, this is the last Greenland shark episode we do for a little while. <laughs> Have you got any thoughts on why this Greenland shark stranded? Do you reckon it's the same individual as the one in France? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.